Father, how we magnify you. We thank you now for this day. It is the day you made and should be going to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you now for being present in this situation, in this movement, dear Master. We know you're here. We can feel your presence. Oh God, we're thanking now for our president. Thank you for the leadership you've given him and all of his staff. Continue to bless him. Give him the strength, the mentality to teach us and show us how to be followers. We thank you for him, dear Master. They thank you for all that are gathered here in this crowd here today. Let us not forget the purpose, fighting against an unjust system. We know that you know how to heal things, dear Master. Oh, bless your name, we praise you. And then as we get ready to move from this place one to another place, guide us there safely. Be the protector for us, dear Master. More hate, harm, and danger. And then bless everybody here under the sound of my voice. Yes, Lord. Our homes, our families, <laughs> individuals as well as collective. You have the power of resources. In the name of Jesus, I pray for his sake. Amen. Amen. And we're calling for criminal justice reform. All of us are part of that. Houston and Harris County gets better when we make it happen. Your presence here has power. I, I want to just assure you that your presence here today does have power. So don't underestimate that. People are paying attention to it. And the God we serve puts thunder in our feet and volume in our voices and change happens when people show up to demand it. So thank you all for being here. It's a peaceful march, but it's a powerful, a powerful march. We thank the NAACP and every organization who's here today and every individual. And thank you for bringing the children out so we can raise up another generation of freedom fighters for the future. Give all the children they have. All right, now we're ready.
first of all, let me say, this is just the beginning. Yo! This is just the beginning. Yo! A war was never won with one battle. That's Teach! Right, right. A war was never won with one battle. Teach! That's right. And I always tell people, I never known a general to win the war. Yo, Papa! I never known a general to win the war. It's soldiers that win the war. And I want to thank all Yo. the soldiers for coming out this morning. No! 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 Papa Douglas! Look. We're in a battle. Yes. Yo! They are on the run. Yes, Father. They're on the run. Tell the truth, Father. We can't give up. No. Right. No. 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 We cannot give up. Give up. Tell the story, Papa. Yo. Tell the story, Father. On Mother's Day. Mother's Day, Papa. Tell the story, Father. Father, tell the story. Mother's Day. Love. One love. This war has not just been fought in Houston. That's right. Yo. It's not just been fought in Baltimore. Love, right. Papa. It's not been just been fought in Ferguson. Right. Yeah. It's not just been fought in New York. Tell us, right. right. Papa. This battle has been fought all over this country. Yo, yeah. 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 tell us, story, Papa. Tell us, story, Papa Douglas. You. In the '60s. Mm. Uh -huh. We started to eradicate this disease known as racism. Ooh, white, white supremacy. supremacy. But we stopped taking the medication. This time we will not stop taking the medication.
tomato text. Tomato. You said text. Tell the story, Papa. Nobody said nothing. I got in fights when I was growing up at school. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, most boys get in fights. Yeah. Tell the story, Papa. Just normal childhood behavior. and all the felonies and all the crimes coming out of the public schools. Tell us, sir, Papa. Why they all look like me? <laughs> White kids don't miss school? No. White kids don't fight? No. Now, you know, it's, it's really funny. Slavery mentality. We created the criminal justice system. Slavery yeah. institution. Yeah. Come on now. To protect us from each other. Yeah. Slavery institution. But over half of the people in prison didn't harm anybody but themselves. Yeah. Slavery institution. Yeah. Yeah. Slavery institution. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it a felony to harm yourself? Or even, you know, hey, I tell everybody, teach. Clint smoked. Uh, teach. Yeah, he did. Teach. Bush smoked and did some other things along with it. Teach. Tell the story, Papa. You. Clarence Thomas, Clarence Thomas smoked. Tell the story, Papa. You. Obama smoke. Now I'm not just saying this. These are people who admit it. Yeah. They smoke weed. Yeah. And we got three presidents who admitted smoking weed. One Supreme Court justice who admitted smoking weed. Why are we locking up people for smoking weed? that we're using to incarcerate people for smoking yeah, a little yeah. weed Thank and you. put it in public education. The system is broken yeah. and it's not going to change unless we do something about it. Other speakers that I say war just came in. Yeah. Yeah. I want to thank the NAACP. You know what my situation is. We're burying a historic doctor, and I am speaking, Dr. Rogers Whitmer. Many of you know him out of Independence Heights. No. But I will say to you today no. uh, that all across America, we cannot burn the Constitution. Yeah. And I am so proud of you all standing in the gap, yeah, all right. uh, yes, never yeah. allowing uh, the fear of dissension Yo. or criticism Yo. to stop you Teach. from the use of the Constitution. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. No. Dixon and the NAACP yeah. to our president. Yo. President, I call it President Yolanda, I like saying that. Yo. Yeah. I want you
want you to know that this cannot be a one-time stop. Right now, we are writing a police accountability bill in Washington. I am working sisters this morning in the greeting words of peace of assalamu alaikum Yo. which means peace be on to you Yo, Papa to president james douglas mm. to bishop james dixon Father yeah. to uh, uh, clergy and brothers and sisters who are here today Yo. i come before you with mixed feelings mm. uh, in my heart and i'll ask you to pray for me love one love as i have prayed and stood in the gap for you love one love this morning i lost one of my long-term members of the mosque that started with me in my early years before you ever knew there was a robert muhammad when i was robert 2x All right. All right, robert. he passed this morning from this earth he returned back to god this morning i went to comfort his widow this morning but I also wanted to come and to deal with the living Teach, Papa. as well as attending the who had passed away. Teach, Papa. She understood the sense of duty that we all have to one another. Mm. Let me dedicate what I have to say to Brother Jeffrey, mm. Jeffrey Muhammad, Jeffrey Webster, a uh, father, a husband, uh, a father of three daughters, 
uh, a man who worked every day, who, to my knowledge, never cheated on his wife. They were a wonderful couple, loving couple. And so it means a lot to me uh, that I could be there for her. Now at the same time, brothers and sisters, as you go through that particular situation, as Bishop Dixon and Reverend Nash and, and Pastor Deckard all know what it's like to sit with a loved one right in the midst of the numbness of seeing one of their loved ones pass from this earth, I want to say that we should always, for a Muslim, we say, you want for your brother and sister what you want for yourself. And you never want anyone to feel that feeling, mm. right, to be in that position, yeah. right. for someone to die of natural causes, of yeah. sickness or illness, but for someone to die at the hands of law enforcement. Woo! And then you have to comfort them. And then the only way that we're ever going to have peace mm. or comfort mm. is, is that when there's justice is served. Yeah. 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 The Honorable Lord Farrakhan says to us, where there is no justice, of course, there is no what? Peace. There is no peace. Yo. But there can be no peace without justice, right. but there can be no justice without truth. Rod Wilkins in the house. Without the truth. Rod Wilkins in the house. We need Yo. truth. Yo. Brothers and sisters, mm. I say this to you on the 20th anniversary of the historic Million Man March. All right. That mm. if Congresswoman Lee mm. is going to put before the Congress of the United States Teach. a bill for police accountability. Yes. If Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, Yo, in her committee, Truth she's on a very powerful committee, yes. you have to understand. If we're not going to back her, Yo. then her bill will die on the floor. Yeah. Now, in 1995, we took nearly two million black men to the mall. Yo. Washington, D.C. For a day of atonement, reconciliation, and Yo. responsibility. Yes. Atonement for what we as men have not done for our black women and for our children. Yes. To atone before God, Love. to take responsibility for ourselves as men and husbands and brothers, Love. and to reconcile our community one to another. Love, Papa. It Yo. doesn't matter today who marched and who didn't march. Tell us, Papa. But today we've got to focus Tell us, on a two-front wall. History is not kind to those who have to fight two front wars, but with God, all things are possible. We have to fight a two front war. All of the recalcitrant, hard hearted, stony hearted killers of our people who back this condition of police slaughtering us, use us killing one another as an excuse for them killing us. Stands on the Memphis timeline, Thank which is the Memphis Act. 
Texas that Tell represents where he was assassinated right. in 1968. Tell the yeah. What I want you to understand is the intersection of it is here. Yo. Yeah. What we need today is justice. Yo. Yeah. Justice or else. Yo. Yeah. You see, I am peaceful, Yo. but I am not nonviolent. Yo. If you attack me, Yo. I have to defend myself. I will never be the aggressor. We carry no weapons, but we have a right to defend ourselves. Yo. Now, I'm not calling for violence. What I'm saying to all who will listen to us yeah. is justice or else. Yo. Because our young people, listen to me well, Tell us, sir. it's not us that are rising up. Tell us, sir. Many of us are accepted in the boardrooms and in all of the places of, of high privilege. And he can go see the DA and yeah. he can call the man at the Great Eastern yeah. Partnership yeah. and he can meet with the mayor and city council and I can call any kind of meeting I want to. But what I'm yeah. saying to you is, yeah. is that our youth Tell us, sir. are got a whole different yeah. spirit. Tell us, sir. surgery on my hip. Mm -hmm. I had that, yeah. and I'm still here. Yeah. I won't give up until the battle yeah. is not just over, but improved. Right. Every day is a working day. It's an opportunity for us to come together. We can afford to single individuals. That's right. We must come together as a group. Right. They listen to us when we come in groups, Yo. a coalition of various, various groups of people from different parts of town and right. different races of Yo. people. Right, right. We will be heard. Jeez, I'm glad that Robert said we are, are, are peaceful, but can I tell you something? As an old age, I used to be a violent young man. Right. Tell the story, Papa. If you call my name to some people, they'll tell you I used to be that way. No. But God changed me. Yo. I saw no. the need to work with our younger brothers, our younger sisters. No. I've got Yo. ten great-grandsons and sons 
and I got six babies right. that are uh, uh, under a year of age. Teach the babies. I'm fighting for them. I'm representing them as well as the young people that I see sitting around here. Teach. Every day I'm trying to fight for these young people. Right. Just two weeks ago, I went to Austin and supported a bill that says a 16 and 17 year old should not go to prison. He's trying to raise the age to 20. That's important to me. A 16 and 17 year old going to the adult population. But what happened is this. Now I know there are those that don't want to hear my message. But when you've been in the long as I am, 38 years, I've been doing this. I want out of here. Kicking down crack doors. I'm proud to follow a man like this. I like it when he called my name. Not 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 to say it for population, but don't leave me out. I'm still in. I'm still in the, I'm gonna be here until he called me home. Six and a half years. 
since Robbie was shot. Right. And I'm not about to stop. I'm not going anywhere. Eternity. I have, I have a lot of questions. I don't understand why when a police officer shoots and kill our un unarmed black men, I'm not Woo. talking about criminals. True, 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 true. Right. Why money is raised for their defense immediately. Amen. Because they like killing them. But right. nobody raises money for the vic these families. And Amen. Vic Lord, families. Yeah, you got to change that. Right. And it makes it very difficult for us to fight these battles. Tell yeah. story, my God. It was just the grace of God that I had a house that I was willing to sell because yeah. my child means more to me than that house. Amen. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my God. Woo! Yo! Front line! Yo, freedom fighter, victory. Everybody advise me, Miss Tolan, don't sell your house. Mm -hmm. You're not going to win. Mm -hmm. But I did not care whether I won or not. No. I decided that I was going to stand and stand on the word of God. Amen. 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 No. Amen. No. Yo. I can fall things to Christ who strengthens me. Yeah, them. I told the white folks that. I told the attorneys that. I Yo. told the judge that. Yo. Stop, Mother Yo. In Yo. her face. Yo. When we were ordered to a settlement hearing, Woo. I said, I don't want a settlement hearing because I knew that I would not talk about this injustice for the rest of my life. Woo. Jesus Christ, the boss. Yo. So when the judge told me they ordered us to a settlement hearing, we, would, we had to go. Yeah. Yo. And I told her, I'm gonna take my chances with Jesus. Yo, tell us our mother dear. Yo, 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 yo. And but and but God. But God. But God. We went to the Supreme Court and we got the first unanimous decision in the Supreme Court in 13 years. Yo, yo, yo. When, when I meet people like law students and they don't even know about our case and they're right here in this city. Yeah. Really? We went to the Supreme Court and won. That's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, Marshall. Yeah. Yo. Very good, Marshall. Yo. Yo. Tell the story, girl. In, in the, the December 12th journal of the law, National Law Journal, it said that our case had already been mentioned and held over 500 cases. Mm. That was six months ago. All right. We just, we just, we just got the, the one year anniversary of our decision was this week, May 5th. Yo. That case is going to help others yes. to file lawsuits against police brutality. Yo, yeah. 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 Police brutality. Yeah. Yeah. Slavery. Yeah. We can't be afraid to stand. We have to fight for our yeah. kids. Tell us I mean, think about it. I think about these little boys that just started school this year. They're in first grade, kindergarten. Do you know if we don't get this straight, they're going to still be dealing with this? Yeah. Time is now. Amen. So let's demand that the people we vote for 
are going to be uh, dealing with the issues that we have for our kids. Amen. petitions out here. They need signatures. There are two people out here with clipboards, so make sure you sign on to House Bill 261. Whoa. We say we want we say we want the Civilian Review Board Teach. with civilian power. Yo. Let's get behind it. Let's sign these petitions. Yo. And let's help Representative Boris Miles get Represent this bill passed. Representative Boris Miles. Yo. Let me, uh, let me say thank you to everybody again for showing up today. Yo, worldwide. We want to thank Attorney Vivian King. We want to thank God for having legal representatives who will stand with us, Yo. educate us, and fight with us and fight for justice. Yo, Bishop. Thank you, Pastor Deckard and other ministers who are here. Yes. I want to. I want to, I want to Take your time. conclude, but I, I do think it's important. We've had one woman to speak Yo. and several men. Yo. And of course, Yo. one woman outweighs 10 men speaking. Yo, but but, but, but I, I do want our sister Vivian King Yo. to have a brief word. Yo. She's always Yo. loaded with information. Yo. And after she finishes, I'll give the concluding remarks and we're still within time. But Vivian King. I think it's important. The King.
mainstream media doesn't tell. Yeah. I can tell your story. I have ex-cons who are telling how they got there and how and trying to leave a body of work for young people when you're ready to move around. You have the history. I can teach you what I've learned. So if anyone has a criminal story or a political story that they want to tell, I pay for this show Yo. for you. Yo. All right? Contact me. Yo. Vivian King. Thank you. We're glad to see the Honorable Carol Robinson, of course, as a part of the NAACP. Honorable. is here. Give him a big hand. Robinson, a freedom yo. fight, another lawyer. Chris yo. Oliver with the Houston Community College Board. Yo. Thank elected officials for being here. Yo. Uh, the lady that's crying now lost her son about 19 months ago. Yeah. And so she's dealing with the pain yeah. of that. I want to echo one thing that Minister Roberts said. He said so much truth today. Tell the story, Papa. Uh, Minister Roberts talked about how we kill each other. Yeah. And standing in this crowd today is Miss Barbara Marshall. Whoa. Her son Whoa. was killed by another young black man. Whoa. She's marching on behalf of police brutality, but she's also here because Whoa. she's a mother of a victimized young black man Whoa. who in his 20s lost his life Whoa. to another young black man. Whoa. The congressman is at a funeral today with a slain person because of black on black crime. Yeah. So I just want to echo what Minister Roberts said. We cannot demand mm. respect from others Whoa. if we don't prove to respect right. one another. That, 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 that's the hypocritical method. To only talk about what happens from the outside to us right. if we don't talk about what happens from the Teach. inside Teach. to Teach. us. Teach. Pastor Deckard is tomorrow holding a press conference at his church on Mother's Day at 12 noon at the Greenhouse Church Teach. with three mothers yeah. of people who were murdered in the Greens Point area. Teach. And more than likely, that was not white on black. Teach. Uh, yeah. That was not the police. Yeah. That's what we're doing to ourselves. So yeah. we got to echo that message that Minister Robert declared today. Let's show them how to treat us yeah. by the way we treat Shoots one of our kids unarmed. Yeah. There are 
association raises money to support that officer and that officer's family. And we have not been raising money to support the mothers in our community whose sons have fallen as victims to police brutality. Well, I, that's got to stop. Because love is not what love says. Love is what love does. And, and so I, I'm appointing myself on the committee. And I want anybody else who will join the committee. Let's have a fundraiser. Come on, let's have a service. Let's have a fundraiser. And raise some money to support Janet Baker, to support Mother Tolan and others in the struggle. Because they have walked away from jobs. Janet Baker has taken off so much time from work yeah. promoting this cause. We've got to support them. Yeah. Finally, let me say, jobs do count. Yeah. And it's still amazing to me, Minister Robert, Whoa. that in this nation, Whoa. nine billion, say nine billion, nine billion, nine billion dollars per year Teach. are generated for for-profit American companies Yo. on the backs and minds of prison labor. Slave labor. That Slave means labor. that prisoners Slave labor. are working Slave labor. for for-profit American companies Whoa. while they are incarcerated. Yeah. Exploitation. They are smart enough. Injustice. They are genius enough. Whoa. They are skilled enough Whoa. to work for Lord have mercy. Yeah. But they gotta depend on us to have broad enough shoulders.
shoulder yeah. Yeah. to carry the burden right now of criminal justice reform. Yeah. Yeah.